In this video, we're going to take an ArcGIS Pro map with a historic raster image, in this case, an aerial photograph, but that could be a scan of a historic map or some other digitized piece of uh, geographic information. And that this, in this case, the aerial image has been geo-referenced so that it is located with fair precision in alignment with the GIS kind of background grid. And we are going to create a feature class and trace some features out of this aerial image. And in this project, we're working with the city of Tokyo and we're working with the district of Shibuya. In particular, this armed forces housing development for U.S. Armed Forces in post-war Tokyo that was cleared for building the 1964 Olympic Stadiums and uh, Yoyogi Park eventually. And I think the feature that we will first extract is the footprints of the buildings. And we have a number of footprints here for buildings, most of which are residential units, either single family residentials or kind of double, triple, larger uh, multi-unit buildings. We also have some buildings that are for um, the commercial interests on the, on the encampment. So the, the PX and the chapel and theater and such. That's what some of these buildings are. So let's make a feature class. To make a feature class, we're going to get to our catalog over on the right hand side. And I just closed my geo reference tab. And under my, yes, it's under my databases. This GDB file is my database that encodes the information for this current project. And I'm going to right click on it. And I am going to make a new feature class. And so this class is going to be, I think in our case, we'll call it building footprints or maybe simply footprints. Um, and I would make a different feature class for each of the classes of information that I want to extract. So I may end up with many feature classes in a particular database. We will give this a name. Let's again call it footprints. And the feature class type, what, how are we going to define these features? A polygon is an enclosed polygonal line. So it defines a, an area, if you will. A line simply defines kind of a, a line, or maybe we could consider it in some ways a vector. We have points. We have multi-patches, which are kind of 3D objects of sorts in the GIS domain, we have multi-points and 3D objects, um, dimensions, annotations. In this case, with a footprint, with something that has an area that I can visualize in this map, I'm going to choose a polygon. And I'm going to simply accept these default geometric properties. And I could click through the next, but I am not going to be defining anything in particular here. So I will finish this. And what I see now in my drawing order for my map is I have footprints and I have a color associated with those, which I could click and change kind of how, what the properties of this, uh, this um, feature are going to be. But let's say I'm, I'm comfortable with the salmon color. I am going to now make a new feature. So. So to make a new feature, I'm going to go to my edit tab in my ribbon interface at the top of my screen. And under my features, I'm going to create a new feature. In the future, I could modify features, I could delete features, but in this case, we're going to create. And I'm going to create a footprint feature. And notice once we get into this create mode, we have a number of ways of drawing different kind of shapes associated with those. At the base of the screen, we have some of those drawing tools. So we are picking how we want to define our first feature. We also have a finish 
and a cancel, and my finish hotkey is F2 on my computer. The first feature I'm going to trace will be, oops, let's say this footprint right here. Now, I'm not going to be able to get an atomically precise feature because this is an aerial photograph. It's perspectival. I'm not looking directly down on the buildings. I'm looking mostly down on the buildings. So I am seeing some roof and I'm seeing some facade or side or of the building. So let's bear in mind this is going to be a imperfect feature, but I will still be able to catalog and get general shape features for this. So let's click, click once in the upper left hand corner move to where I think the roof ends, click again, click, click, and now if I F2 on my keyboard or if I accept, I have defined my first feature. Let's make a few more of these features. If I wanted to delete a feature, let's see, oops, excuse me. If I want to delete a feature, I can delete one. If I want to modify a feature, then I can modify using these tools. I could edit vertices on a feature, which would allow me to go back in and select and make changes to that feature. And if I want to create a new feature, I go back to my Create tab, Footprints, like so. I'm not going to trace all of these by any means in the video, but the notion with this feature set is that I would extract the building footprints as one feature set, perhaps the green area as another, perhaps the roadways as another, um, and through that begin to get features that I can bring into alignment with contemporary Tokyo and study against contemporary Tokyo. So that's extracting features in ArcGIS Pro.